Hi, I'm going to teach you how Cognero tests are created. So I have loaded a book on my bookshelf that includes Cognero. So I just clicked the Cognero option when I was adding this book. And all I have to do is click the Cognero and it takes me right over to the application. So from here, you can either create a new test or create a new question set. I always create a new test. As you can see on the left-hand side are all of the books that I have loaded that include Cognero. So in this case, um, so I'm just going to go ahead and create a new test. And I'm going to label my test. And this is going to come from my econ book. Now, the options are that you can build a test with randomly selected question types from the existing questions. I don't know of an instructor that would want to randomly have Cognero select a, all the questions for them, but you might, and so that's the option that they would pick. In this case, I'm. this is my favorite, build a test with questions selected by specific question information. I'm going to tell you what that is in just a minute, but this is the option that I have. If you build an empty test, that means no questions ever come over. So I'm going to name my test, select the second option, and in this case I'm going to select the business, the principles of econ. So I just click on that. You can click this plus sign all day long if you want, but nothing will ever happen. So you just make sure that this is highlighted, that's done, and then you click next. So under these I have all question tests <clears throat> sets, but excuse me, and then here's my principles of economics, so I'm going to increase that one. Now, since I'm going to do chapter four, then I can increase that at this point, and you can see that I have all these different options. So this is selected out by topic in this particular chapter. So I can just select the top button, and it will include all of these things in there. So if I click next, then at this point, I can select the type of question. So it could either be an accrediting standard, corporate standard, all these different kind of things. You will find sometimes that the question hasn't been tagged by that particular thing. So you'll just want to be careful. Um, usually what I find instructors will want to do is they'll want to do it by either difficulty level or they will want to do it by learning objective. So in this case, I'm going to do it by learning objective. And if I don't specify which question type, then it will just give me everything. Okay, in this case, I'm going to do the multiple choice. Now, another thing you can do, which I'll go back here, if you decided you didn't want true false, you could simply deselect that particular button. Or if you didn't want problems, or let's say you weren't, you didn't want to talk about um, supply and demand together, then you could just deselect that. So that's another way that you can already be pre-selecting which questions. Okay, so let's just take out the true-false because I don't believe in true-false anyway. All right, and then we'll go down here and I'll go, you know what? I don't want to have to grade anything, which means subjective short answers are out of the question for me. I just want multiple choice. So now, do you see what's going to happen? These are my learning objectives. 4, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 right and you can see that there are seven questions that have to do with learning outcome 4-0 there's 124 that are by learning objective 4-3 so what I have to do is I have to go in here and I can't really see these questions until I select how many of these that I want to see so some instructors will want to see them all of the 173 questions. Well, I don't know. The, the, the thing that I want you to know is a limitation on Cognero is that you cannot do it by more than one learning. You know, you can't do it by more than one thing. So I can't choose by learning objective and by level of difficulty and by, you know, something else. So you'll just need to know that. Um, so in this case, I'm just going to go through here and do some edits. Okay, so you can just see that out of the six questions, I decided I only wanted to see one out of each of these. Here I chose five just so I can show you how we're going to select even further. All right, so I've just selected how many I want out of here, and it'll just pick that many. All right, I click Finish. That just confirms that that's what I wanted. So there's so far 13 questions on this test. And this is what happens. So here are the questions that have been included on my test. Okay. One thing you'll notice is it says view 10 questions. If there's more than 10 questions, then you'll want to make sure and come up here and say view all or view whatever. 
so anyway, here are all the questions that I have selected. And um, what I can do up here, which is kind of a nifty little thing, if you click this little eye, it will give you more choices for you to see. So for example, I could show the learning objective. I can show the level of difficulty. I can even show the feedback that the students will get, right? You can click them all if you want to, but those are the ones that I find to be most helpful. And then you can see that that's the answer, this is the level of difficulty, and that's the learning objective that it is um, trying to cover. So here are all the questions that I have. If I decide I don't want one, I just come over here and I delete it, and it's gone. So that's how I build a test. The next thing I'm going to do is show you how you can export this test because that's the whole objective behind Cognero is that they don't want to use some sort of an online test solution and or they did not want to export our test bank that was found on the instructor companion site they just want to be able to print it so that's why Cognero is all handy so we're gonna to go to file export and you could take it to blackboard you could also just print it to PDF and when you do this print to PDF thing you can do a single version or you can do multiple versions. For this particular one, I'm going to do a single version, and then I'm going to go back and I'm going to show you what a multiple version would look like. But for now, we're just going to do a single version. I can print the answer key or not, include the answer lines. I can add a little space in between, right? la di da And the next thing you know is it's going to come down and give me a PDF. Okay, so once that is complete, then all you do is click here to download your PDF. I'll go ahead and open that. And there you have it. There is my test. And you can see they've already had a header in here. And they have a place for you to put the name. And there's all of my questions. And there's 12 questions. And you remember that I had originally started out with 13 and deleted one. So now I am left with 12 questions.